Hello everyone, it is that time again. It's time for my monthly plan with me video. Now I didn't do one for April's pages because at the end of March I was not feeling very good at all and I just ended up doing it one day off camera. Um, but you're really not missing much with April's pages so I just thought I would go straight in again with May. Now, um, I had reached the point where I needed another future log. I tend to do four months at a time. So I just picked some colours from my Crayola Super Tips that corresponded with each other. They're kind of autumn-y colours now that I look at it, but I just fancied something different from all the pastel colours that I had used in previous months. Um, so this future log goes from May until August. Um, basically, I started getting like appointments in place for some of these months and I needed somewhere to write them so I just went ahead and created this before my May pages. I'm just highlighting the titles there, the months to make it look just a little bit more interesting I suppose and I'm writing future log at the top. I decided to make my letters a little bit more irregular in size and I think it looks quite cute. It's nothing special though. Um, lettering is still really not my forte. I don't practice enough. I probably could get better if I just practiced it, but you know. Um, so I started having a look and seeing how uh, many appointments I had and if there was anything that I had jotted down on my April calendar for any of these months. Um, and I copied down all my information, popped in all my birthdays and everything and added some washi tape. I tend to cut out all of the writing because I think it's quite boring for you guys to watch um, and it makes the video like 10 times longer to watch me painstakingly writing everything in because I'm so fussy about my handwriting um, in these pages. On my actual weekly spreads I don't mind so much but for some reason on these spreads I just like things to be neat um, and that's why I tend to write in capital letters on these pages. I just think it's clearer and neater. <laughs> So this is my May title page. As always, I'm literally just gonna write the word May. Um, my plan is always to go back and decorate the pages, but I never do because I just never know what to do. I'm definitely not as creative as many bullet journalers that I watch on YouTube who have lots of beautiful stickers or they do lots of lovely um, sketches on all of their pages that's just not my talent at all unfortunately so I've just written May 2019 and um, I've left that other page on the left there spare just in case anything came up at the end of April and I needed an extra page now I'm doing my monthly calendar. It's the same every single month because I find that the size of the boxes, the way that I've been doing it, is absolutely perfect for everything that I need to write down. And um, it just, it works out perfectly really. Everything's got an equal amount of boxes and it just, it satisfies my little Virgo heart, you know? Um, so I had already marked out a few dots on the pages um, to show me where to draw my lines. And ta-da, this is my monthly calendar. So I'm just going to write Monday to Sunday along the top there and then I've got a little notes box on the end and I'm just highlighting it in this lovely lilac highlighter. These are the Stabilo um, pastel coloured highlighters by the way and I absolutely love them. I got them in September 2017 and I use them all the time and they're still going strong. That is not an ad, I'm not sponsored, I just really like them. <laughs> So I've done May 2019 at the top and written in all my dates. And again, I'm just going through and highlighting them with the same color. So then I can look back at my future log and pick out anything that needs to go onto this May calendar spread. Um, I've got a lot going on this month. Once it's all on the calendar, it doesn't look like that much, but I really do have a busy month this month. Um, lots of stuff going on at work. Lots of um, assignments due in and work to do on my dissertation. I've got appointments with my tutor at university, that sort of thing. Quite a few birthdays as well. Um, and also I've got lots of YouTube videos that I want to film for this channel and for Patreon as well. Um, I didn't write them all in on this calendar because I wasn't sure at the time exactly what I wanted to upload on what day. But you can see I've just added one down here that says June plan with me. I know that my plan with me video will always go up either on the last day of the month or towards the beginning of the next month. So I've scheduled in that I wanted it to go in in the last couple of days of May. I try to upload on a Wednesday and a Sunday, but um, this month it's going to be a Thursday <laughs> that this video is going up. Um, 
But I do try and write things in here to give me an idea of what I need to film and when and what I need to upload and when. Um, so I've got my colour code as well, that always helps me out. And I'm just popping some washi tape um, at the end of this month to show the, pay uh, the days that aren't included. And then I go back and put some in the beginning as well because I forgot to do that. Sorry, I had to stop recording then because as always, my voice decided to give out. Honestly, I speak absolutely fine all day long. And then as soon as I try to film a voiceover, my voice just gives out. <laughs> so now I'm moving on to the next two pages. And this one is going to be a really simple brain dump page. I've been doing this for the last couple of months now and I'm really enjoying it. I think it's useful to have a designated page to just write things down as they pop into my head. Sometimes there's a task that I want to complete that month that isn't necessarily like time um constrained if you know what I mean so there isn't necessarily a deadline for it but it's something that I want to get done that month or it's something that just occurs to me that I need to remember for the next month um, and if it's not a particular appointment that I would put on my future log I can just jot it down on my brain dump it's a good place to write video ideas and things as well and um, so I just keep it really simple literally just write brain dump at the top and then I've used some washi there just to make it look a little bit prettier um, and now I'm moving on to my habit tracker. I'm doing it in the same style that I did my January and February habit tracker. Um, being totally honest with you, I barely used any of my pages for April. I always use my monthly spread and my weekly spreads, but all of these extra pages I've barely used. Um, I normally do one for my uni work and all sorts, and it just wasn't getting used. So I'm putting this in there sort of in the hopes that I will use it this month because I really do need to um, track some of these things, you know, stuff like the gym and all that. I really want to see how often I'm actually going because I am actually finally going back to the gym now. I've been a couple of times and I do genuinely want to track it. The same with no spend. I've booked a couple of holidays for this year and next year. So I definitely need to be on a no spend now. And I just think some of these things are useful uh, to track. Um, things like my medication, I do take my medication every day. I'm very reliable at doing that, but I put it on there just as a reminder. And I've also got a new evening routine that I'm trying to get into the habit of. So I've popped that on there as well. It's just little things like that. Um, but when this page actually gets used, I do like how it turns out. Like you can see here, it looks pretty with all the colors. So that's why I've gone back to this style. We'll see if it gets used. I hope it will. <laughs> um, but I'm just writing habit tracker at the top with my lilac um, Crayola super tip. And again, keeping it really simple. That's definitely the word that would describe my bullet journal. I think it's just not, it's not artistic like everyone else's. It's just, it's very simple, very functional. I don't know. I'm just boring with it, I guess. Um, so this is my first weekly spread. Again, lettering's not my forte. Please don't judge me too much. I know I'm bad at it. Um, these pens are supposed to make it super easy to do like beautiful brush lettering. They are the um, Art Sticks pens. I'm just, I'm, I'm not good at it guys, I'm just not, um, but I'm writing my dates in and then after that I follow it up with just writing in a couple of the appointments or things that were going on this week that I knew for certain. Um, I don't like to write things in until I definitely know they're happening. It doesn't matter so much in this bullet journal but it used to really annoy me with my previous planners that had like beautiful pages all set out and like stickers and everything. It used to really annoy me if I had to like cross something out or write that something was cancelled so <laughs> I try not to write things in until I know for definite they're happening. Um, I think at this stage there were only a few things that I knew for definite. Um, so you won't see much appear on this page. Um, but I'm just popping in this washi as well. This is from Mrs. Brimbles, my friend Anna. Absolutely love this washi. It's got little purple hearts on it, so I thought it matched um the writing on this page really well. You'll see there's not a lot of room for Thursday. I did notice that afterwards, but thankfully that was a day off work. It's actually Thursday as I'm currently recording this voiceover and the video is going up today. Um, all I had planned for that day was a meeting with my dissertation supervisor and sadly that actually got cancelled because the university campus is closed today for a big event. event. So um, I'm actually off work just editing some videos. It's, it's blissful. <laughs> but here you can see that I'm starting to do my little shadow that I do on my um, titles. Nothing special again. Um, and then I'm going to start writing in some of the things that I know for certain. 
So there we have it. Those are all my pages for May so far. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye guys.